a live pack break until very recently, a couple of months ago, Whatnot reached out to me and said, hey, would you like to do some live pack breaks? We would love to help you out with that. And I thought, you know what? I actually would. I would love to experience what it's like to open up booster packs live with some viewers. Twice baked Jake. Little hands, little liar. Wow, dude. And I gave you, I gave this man runner up for best pack opener. And this is what he does. What an asshole. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out the comment section in Twice Baked Jake's most recent upload. Yikes, dude. There's very few ways to take everyone in your fan base and make them hate you. Twice Baked Jake just did it. All right, so what am I talking about? So, Twice Baked Jake. Hi, welcome to the hobby. So this guy, first of all, I have a little history with them. I did make a 2023 YouTuber awards video for all Pokemon content creators. I featured 20 different content creators from Poke Reb, Poke Vault, Cool Trainer Ryan, Opossum Bud, TCA Gaming, SM Pratt, uh, all of them, everybody, okay? Every single person that was involved with that video, the winners of each category and the runner-ups, all 20 people, all messaged me within that night, to be honest. They all thanked me, they all everything. Guess who didn't? Guess who never mentioned a word to me? Who never said thank you? Who never said, oh, that was cool? Nothing. Twice. Baked. Jake. Am I salty about that? Maybe just a little, but to be honest, not really. I completely forgot about it, and I don't care at all about the man whatsoever until today when I saw an Opossum Bud video. So in this Opossum Bud video, first of all, I have a bit of a history with um, calling whatnot streamers out and ripping shippers. I've explained in various videos when I first started YouTubing that ripping shipping is just a complete ripoff, and that's at bare minimum if you're not getting scammed, scammed on top of being ripped off. So, the process of rip and shipping is a ripoff. The process itself is very regularly predisposed to scammers, and the company, the biggest company running said rip and shipper and scammers is whatnot. What is twice baked Jake's new business decision? To go rip and ship on whatnot. Yeah. So, first of all, what a stupid move. What an idiotic video. What an absolute asinine bunch of... His video, this new Twice Baked Jake video that I'm going to link down below, as well as Opossum Bud's video, because this is just a... I'm just adding on to Opossum Bud's commentary here. Um, this is an embarrassment for the man. Twice Baked Jake, it's not just that you're someone who came from a, you know, wholesome collecting perspective and... You know, not getting ripped off, shouldn't do mystery packs, shouldn't do this. Um, rip and shipping has been a seriously big deal, popular thing for like three years. And for two and a half of those years, every single negative story you can imagine has came out about rip and shippers, the whatnot platform, Breaks Blakes, ex NFL player scamming people out of millions of dollars, all the while being best friends with the CEO of whatnot. There's a reason he's not on there anymore. Okay, so if you're an investor, bro, if you've always been a rip and shipper, sure, it makes sense. If you're someone who has an insane amount of vintage, like TCA Gaming, and you do rip and shipping, people buying really insanely expensive packs, and they need to make sure they're legit. There are tons of places where rip and shipping makes perfect sense. And there are other platforms that aren't whatnot, like drip drip shop and a few others the point is if you are going to rip and ship and if you are going to go down that road you don't do it at a company that has proven over and over and over and over and over and over again that they don't give a shit about their consumers okay they don't give a shit if you get scammed okay so twice big jake for the longest time was all about protecting your money doing things for fun the split second what not offered him a job boom switch done what not's actually great you know they emailed me they asked if i want to rip and and i tried it and and hey it was fun 
It's fun opening packs because you get to react to the pack live right then and you get to say, hey, cool card. No shit, dumbass. What do you think ripping shipping is? What have you been paying attention to? What the hell have you been doing for the last three years that all of a sudden the concept of ripping shipping and the pros associated with it or cons from a streamer perspective it just occurred to you like a freaking light bulb just literally oh it's 2024 hey there's this thing called rip and shipping oh yeah there's that company i guess it's called whatnot hmm i don't know let's give it a try yeah what the hell are you talking about twice baked jake every single one of your subscribers that is roasting the shit out of you right now is doing it because you just made one of the dumbest decisions you as a YouTube content creator can make given your previous YouTube content. And your reasoning is potentially the cringiest thing. I, I said, why not? And it was fun. I gotta say, wow, look at that card. What do you think happens when you open up packs and you pull something? Wow, look at that. Look at that card. Of course, that, that, what, dude, this, twice baked Jake, all about the money, okay? Ripping, shipping, go, go to Drip Shop, go anywhere else. Anyone who starts on whatnot with a background of collecting only nowadays, after all the stuff that has come out, you, you just, I think you suck. I do. I think you suck. Nostalgianomics. I don't know what the hell you're doing on whatnot, but at least you're an investor, bro, so it makes sense. The point is, content creators in 2024 are rewarding whatnot with their business rather than other competitor rip and ship companies such as Drip Shop Live. Whatnot has proven to the Pokemon community that they don't care about you. So if you have to freaking go rip and ship, just go rip and ship somewhere else. It's that simple. Twice baked Jake. I was kidding, you are not runner up for best pack opener. I said that because when you open packs, like when a new product comes out, when you're sitting alone at home, recording your YouTube videos, opening packs, that's why people love you. That's why people love hearing your opinions when you're just doing it for yourself, for your own collecting goals. Not getting that bag, getting that paper, getting that screw on whatnot, dog. You don't need to do that and now, Half your audience hates you. <laughs> All right. Um, little giveaway. Like, comment, and subscribe. If you comment down below, I have a fresh PSA 10 Dark Phantasma Enamorous Character Hyper Rare that I just got graded a couple weeks ago. It's not a Charizard. At what point is there ever a good point to give away a PSA 10 Enamorous? Well, I guess on... on uh, Valentine's Day because it, it's kind of Valentine's Day. So anyway, like, comment, subscribe below and you'll automatically get entered to win my Gem Mantan and Amorous Lab. But other than that, guys, I have been offered a job by whatnot. And my response, unlike Jake's, was no. It was, hey, maybe a year, maybe two years from now, but this is way too close to all the Blake's Breaks controversy and the millions of dollars that you've scammed out of your customers. So for you to ask me to come rip and ship right now, that just ain't gonna happen. And around that exact same time, they asked twice, Baked Jake. And he said, sure, why not? I'll give it a try. <laughs> now here we are a couple years later. Half his fan base hates him. Congratulations, twice, Baked Jake. Welcome to the hobby. Deuces! Thank <laughs> you.